Good afternoon, I'm Simon Browning from See Through Web, and in this Typo3 tutorial video, I'm going to demonstrate how we can upload images through the back end administrative interface of Typo3. Actually, this technique works not just for images, but for anything you want to upload. It could be document files like Word files, it could be Acrobat files like PDFs, or really anything that you want to upload. So, as we can see on the screen here, I've just logged in and I'm actually a full administrative user. I've got the full administrative menu down the left side. Depending on your own particular level of access, you may have less items available. However, from this list, I'm going to select a file list. And when I do that, I get a listing of the folders that are available that I can upload into. Now again, depending on your own particular access level and your own server setup, you may have different uh, folders available. However, I do have one called Images, and so I'm going to click on that. When I click on that folder, I can see the images and folders that are available from, uh, within that folder. Now, for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to create a new folder, and I'm going to call it Samples. And to create a new folder, I click on this icon here, which if I hover over, says New, and when I click on it, I get a place to enter the name, so we're going to call it Samples. And I can specify the number of folders, and I just want to create one. So now that we have our samples folder, if I click into it, I can see the files that are available within it. And of course, there's nothing in there yet. To upload files, I'm going to click on this icon here, which if I hover over says Upload Files, and it's going to pop up the File Uploader uh, box. Now, this is Typo3 version 4.3. Previous versions had a slightly different way to upload files. You actually have to select the files one by one. This is a nice enhancement that's been added in this version. So I'm going to click the Select Files button, and it pops up a browser where I can select some files from my computer. And I know I have a few in here. Now, to select these, to select multi I can select one at a time, click open, open, or I can select them all together. So I'm going to hold the Control key button down on my keyboard, and I'm going to click the files that I want. And you can see it's adding them to this file name area here. Let's get a couple more and we'll say open. And when I do that, it's going to build a little file queue and it's going to start uploading the files. Now this server has a limit of 20 megabytes for the total upload, so the most I can upload at any one time is 20 megs, though there is no limit for per individual file. I could upload you know, 10 files that are 2 megs, um, one file that's 20 megs, whatever. Just the limit per upload is 20 megs. If I needed to do more than that, then I would split it over several uploads. So you can see that the files have actually uploaded, um, and that's it. That's how we get the files in there. Some of the controls that we have that make life a little easier for us are one down here in particular called Display Thumbnails, which if I tick on it, will show me little thumbnail versions of the images. Now this might depend, depending on your own particular server, how it's set up, your hosting account, etc. You may not see the thumbnails, but uh, it's really handy when you can. Another handy icon is the Show Clipboard. So if I tick this box here, nothing happens immediately, but there are actually multiple types of clipboards available, and I like Clipboard 2 because when I do that, I get a series of tick boxes next to all the uh, images. And I'll show you how that comes in really handy. If I want to delete, delete one of these images, I can click on the icon, a little menu pops up, and from it I can select a Delete. It asks me if I'm sure, and I can say OK. But if I wanted to delete a whole bunch, that's a little bit tedious. Now that I have the tick boxes, though, I can select, I can tick a few off, and then at the top of that column we have a trash can. If I cl click that trash can, it will actually delete all of those files. Another icon that's here is the mark or unmark all, and when I tick that, it'll automatically mark them all for us. So there you go. That's how you can upload images or files through the back end of Typo3. Thank you.